हे गाइज फ्यू ऑफ यू हैव आस्ट मी टू सिंप्लीफाई द टॉपिक ऑफ ओरल रिहाइड्रेशन सोल्यूशन एंड दिस रेसमॉल कंपेरिजन बिटवीन ओ आर एस एंड रेसमॉल एंड द थ्री प्लान ऑफ डिहाइड्रेशन दैट वी यूज प्लान ए बी एंड सी एंड द थ्री डिफरेंशिएटिंग फीचर्स बिटवीन मिनिमल डिहाइड्रेशन मॉडरेट एंड सीवियर डिहाइड्रेशन सो आई हैव गॉट एवरी थिंग इन वन सिंगल पी डी एफ सो दैट इट विल बी ईजियर फॉर यू टू रिवाइज बिफोर एंटरिंग इन टू द टॉपिक प्रॉपर लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल I am here to simplify many NEET PG and INSEAD related topics uh, in an easy manner and provide you the concise PDFs. So here is my Telegram channel. You can type uh, at the rate Natural Nairobi in the search box on Telegram, and the YouTube channel is Nairobi's Natural for NEET PG. So please do subscribe to these channels, and you get the uh, like every latest update that you need to know for NEET PG and INSEAD. I usually simplify the topics that the people ask me on Telegram, so you can ask me the topics there. Now let us get into the topic proper of today, which is uh, ORS composition and the dehydration. So when we talk about ORS, there are two types of uh, ORS solutions that you need to know. One is reduced osmolar or low osmolar ORS solution. One second, guys. So yeah. one is reduced osmolar or low osmolar ors and the second one is rehydration solution for malnourished patients rehydration that is r e solution is s o and m a l is for malnourished so resomol is the rehydration solution for malnourished whereas reduced osmolar or low osmolar is one and the same that is the normal ors which is now uh, very commonly used Firstly, let us know what does an ORS packet constitute. So, in one packet of ORS, you have sodium chloride, sodium citrate, potassium chloride, and glucose. So, they are uh, provided in grams. So, sodium chloride is two point six grams. Sodium citrate is two point nine grams. Potassium chloride is one point six grams, and glucose is thirteen point five grams in that packet. Have to remember these values. So, firstly, sodium has di in it. So, di is two, and you can make six from c, right? In many of my mnemonic videos, I always make six out of c. So, six is for c. We can make it out here. So, two point six grams is sodium chloride. Coming to sodium citrate, say again di. So, two and point. This citrate is actually c. I mean C is for six, right? But what happening here is it it is written as rotate citrate or rotate, uh, like sounding similar. So you have to rotate six, so that is nine. So two point nine grams is sodium citrate. That is rotate the six. Coming to potassium chloride. So potassium the first prime number is one. So one point and C is for six again. So one point six. So two point six is sodium chloride. Two point nine is sodium citrate, and one point six is potassium chloride. And coming to the glucose, we know the formula of glucose as C six H twelve and O six. So from there itself we can derive. So you have to add one thirteen, and you have to subtract one from this six that is five. So total is thirteen point five grams. I know this is a kind of a, a tricky mnemonic only, but you can easily remember these three values at least. Sodium chloride is two point six. Citrate is rotate two point nine and potassium chloride is one point six. That is easier. Coming to the glucose discussion, which is C six H two L and O six. Uh, H two L you have to add one and O six you have to subtract one. So thirteen point five grams you get. So all these grams are uh, like mixed in one liter of water. So this O R S packet is mixed in one liter of water so that you get the composition in the milli moles per liter. So look at here you get the composition in milli moles per liter. now let us understand uh, or let us uh, like memorize what is the milli moles per liter value okay now uh, individually the glucose glucose is having se so that is se is 75 okay and this sodium is having first letter s so that is again 75 so look at here glucose and sodium are same 75 and 75 Coming to the potassium, potassium is twenty and chloride is ten. So remember it. Uh, citrate is ten. So remember it like 
citrate is te so 10 and potassium is 20 coming to chloride so c is again for 6 right so 65 at least the first digits you can remember guys from this mnemonic so glucose se is 75 sodium is again is 75 coming to citrate the last letter is 10 and chloride c for 6 and that is 65 and the rem remaining one potassium is 20 so total together you should get a value of 240 5 that is low osmolar ors is 245 it is called as low osmolar when you compare it with the adjacent one which is 300 that is for resomol okay so when you compare with resomol the normal ors that is reduced osmolar ors is low osmolar 245 which is less than 300 that is it was called as low osmolar so now uh, you got that clarity right why it is called as low osmolar so 75 75 20 and c for chloride 65 and citrate is ten that is 10 now when we discuss about resomol solution so resomol solution is also this uh, ors uh, solution only but it has the extra 50 grams of glucose because you are giving this resomol solution to the malnourished kids so malnourished kids will be deficient of glucose potassium and some micronutrients too so you have to give everything in this solution format so see you add 50 grams of glucose and you add 40 grams of uh, some nutrients and minerals to this solution to this packet so look at here you are adding 50 grams of glucose right in extra so you have to add 50 here so 75 plus 50 is 125 right so that is okay now uh, when you uh, look at this uh, citrate here it is 10 right so from this citrate you have to subtract c in the citrate you have 10 at the end and c at the beginning c is third letter and 10 is this so 10 minus 3 that constitutes 7 so remember like citrate is 10 when you have to uh, remember this resomol values so you have to subtract 3 from 10 that is 7 so these two values are okay now done now coming to the values which increase so potassium increases that is it doubles and chloride you have to add 5 that is 70 and 40 when you discuss about sodium let us uh, remember this resomol right this is resomol the actual name is rehydration solution for malnourished let us remember like reduced sodium that mnemonic of reduced sodium so in res resomol solution you'll have reduced sodium compared to the low osmolar uh, ors so here it is 75 you have to reduce it so you have to reduce it by 30 which is 45 so just remember that glucose increases in resomol by 50 and sodium reduced sodium our mnemonic this is our mnemonic this is not the full form don't confuse the full form is rehydration solution so you have to decrease the sodium by 30 so these are the most important values that you need to know and the citrate from the mnemonic 10 minus 3 is 7 so remaining you have to just remember guys i didn't find any mnemonic for that potassium and chloride uh, so total uh, it should be 300 resomol should be 300 and normal ors should be 245 so look at here uh, here you have a difference of 55 right between these two so you are adding 50 for glucose and plus 5 for chloride glucose and chloride you are adding 150 and 1 is 5 total uh, this 55 is increasing but uh, it's like uh, a tricky thing only but at least few values you can remember like all these are not confusing 2.6 2.9 1.6 13.5 is easy and citrate for 10 is easy from that you have to subtract minus 3 so, so that's 7 and you have to add 50 because you are giving extra glucose to the malnourished kids and since the mnemonic has reduced sodium so you have to reduce the sodium uh, that is from 75 to 45 we are taking it if you, if you remember at least these values you can uh, rule out the options and come to the correct answer okay now here are few uh, conceptual points that is uh, why do we use sodium citrate it is to correct the base deficit disorders and the potassium chloride is to prevent the hypokalemia in the malnourished kids and uh, glucose is uh, for the absorption of sodium and water so we have this uh, sodium glucose channels right in the GIT so sodium dependent glucose so absorption of sodium water and glucose occurs together so that we give in ors packets 
this is what uh, the difference between resumol and low osmolar ORS which is otherwise called as reduced osmolar ORS. Now let us discuss about the different categories of dehydration. So one is no or minimal dehydration, the second is mild to moderate which is otherwise called as some dehydration and the third one is severe dehydration. So loss of body weight is 3 to 9 in the middle that is moderate. First let us learn the middle values like some dehydration. So uh, they usually ask you about the moderate dehydration only because it has some clincher words like the patient, the kid is irritable, restless, fatigued and he is thirsty and he is able to drink, he is eager to drink, he drinks water when you provide him with uh, when you provide him fluids he will take it eagerly but when you uh, see the severe dehydration they drink poorly so this will be the uh, differentiation feature between these two coming to the heart rate heart rate is increased whereas pulse rate is decreased coming to skin tiger test this is uh, one of the most important clincher point that uh, recoil of the skin when you pinch it is less than 2 seconds in some dehydration and greater than 2 seconds in severe dehydration and capillary refill time is prolonged in both uh, moderate to uh, mild to moderate and severe dehydration so the clincher points here that you need to remember are uh, thirsty and eager to drink and recoil is less than 2 seconds so these are the points that you need to remember in some dehydration so when uh, now that you have uh, done with the uh, categorization of minimal moderate and severe dehydration now we need to know the treatment for these so there are three different plans of treatment plan a is for no dehydration or minimal dehydration so that is the first category here so you, you just administer the ors after uh, each stool passage so for less than 2 years kids it is 50 to 100 ml, 2 to 10 years it is 100 to 200 ml and greater than 10, ml, as 10 years it is as much as fluid as they want. Coming to plan B it is for the second column that is moderate column. So plan B is for moderate dehydration or some dehydration here you have to give 75 ml per kg body weight. And coming to plan C which is severe dehydration so it depends upon the age if the child is less than one year or uh, like greater than one year so start with uh, less than one year right so one year this is one hour and into five which is five hours this is 30 minutes you have to half it and do into five which is two and a half hours so in total for less than one year kids you have to give fluid in six hours duration and for the elderly you have to half it which is three hours so everything will be half for one hour 30 minutes is half and from five hours half is two and a half hours and for six hours half is three hours so you give in the first one hour 30 ml per kg and followed by uh, 70 ml per kg in the next five hours in case of infants and next two and a half hours in case of elderly people so total should be 100 ml per kg so initially it is based on the age and the second column is 75 ml per kg and the third column that is severe column is 100 ml per kg that also you divide into 30 and 70 30 and 70 so this is what i wanted to explain in ors solution and the dehydration treatment here is one question for you please solve this question and uh, uh, tell me the answer in the comment section i'll tell you if it you are uh, right or wrong or where you went wrong and i'll reveal the answer uh, sometime later Thank you. If you like this kind of content, please do support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, like join in the telegram channel guys. You will get to ask your doubts, your topics of difficulty for me directly on the telegram group. And uh, yeah, please do like the videos also. So I am displaying the question again for you. Chalo, answer this in the comment section. Bye. If you are new to this channel, let me introduce my telegram channel to you. So all you have to do is uh, watch this screen recorded video and follow the steps that I tell you. So firstly, you have to go to the telegram app and in the search box type at the rate natural Nairobi. So do not forget to type at the rate. After typing at the rate natural Nairobi, you will get to a group called Nairobi's natural channel. You click on that join in the group. So this is our group guys where regularly I post the MCQs, PYQs and the high yield topics for uh, NEET and ENISET. So people also ask their topics of difficulty in my channel. There in the pinned message above, if you click on that, you will get subject wise videos. Click on any of the subject wise video. Uh, topic and you will get directed to the youtube like this and you can watch the youtube video and subscribe to the youtube channel also guys and uh, share it among your friends please do like share and subscribe to both telegram and youtube channels thank you